Hello and uh, welcome to By Excellence Tutorials with your very own the By Excellence Tutor. Well, uh, have you subscribed yet to the YouTube channel? If you have not yet subscribed, kindly uh, subscribe and don't forget to click also on the notification bell so that you'll be among the first to get notified every time I upload new content. Yeah, so, uh, and if you are looking for someone to tutor you in courses like physics, mathematical methods, uh, chemistry, you can easily get in touch with me on the number that is dropped in the description box of this video. Yeah, and if you like the video kindly, or why not I'm giving it a like and sharing with your colleagues, your friends. Well, let's dive uh, into today's business. Okay, so um, a particle of mass m moving with a velocity u makes a head-on collision with uh, a particle of mass 2m initially at the rest. Show that the particle of mass m loses eight of, of ninth of its initial kinetic energy. All right. So here we are looking at energy loss, yeah? And it's uh, basically a uh, collision and uh, momentum and collision. So we are going to use the concepts of uh, conservation of linear momentum and also conservation of kinetic energy to, to come up with what we are required to come up with, all right? So we're going to say, uh, first to say, when you are talking about energy loss, you are talking about um, any negative change in the, in the, any negative change in energy, all right, in energy of a system or the difference of um, the energies, uh, that is kinetic energy, uh, initial kinetic energy and the, the final kinetic energy. So when you get that difference, that is energy loss. All right. So uh, we're going to say uh, these two particles, according to conservation of linear momentum, all right, um, they're going to move like that. M2, U2 equal to M1, B plus M2, V2. All right, so the mass of M1 is M and the moving with the velocity U. And then uh, mass two was initially at rest. So it didn't have um, initial momentum. So here momentum is equal to zero. So we're going to have equal to M, V1 plus uh, mass two, the, the mass for mass two is 2m. So we're going to have 2mv2, right? So we can cancel out the m's and we're going to have u being equal to, let's say u1, let this be u1. Even u, it's okay, even u1 is, yeah. So, we're going to have v1 plus 2v2. So let that be our equation one. And then conservation of kinetic energy, conservation of kinetic energy, we're going to have half m1 u1 squared plus half m u2 squared equal to the final kinetic energies also for these two particles. Right, so we can cancel out the halves throughout of this equation. And then we're going to have as well, M squared being equal to here still it's zero because initial velocity is zero. And then we're going to have M V1 squared plus 2m v2 squared like that. So the m's as well, 
and then we're going to have that equal to this, all right? And then this is our equation two. So we play with equation two. So why are we are we are we are we doing this? Someone may be asking. So why is it doing this? Why? Is it? So what I'm trying to do here, we are looking at particle one actually. Show that the particle of mass m. So this is particle one. Uh, so it's basically the our, our main focus. So we need to know the initial kinetic energy of particle one and the final kinetic energy of particle one. Remember, I said that um, energy loss is any negative change, or rather I said uh, it's um, the difference in the initial kinetic energy and the final kinetic energy. In this case, when you're talking about collision, all right? Yeah, so now we need to know the final kinetic energy. Now, the final kinetic energy for particle one is um, it's, it's, it's given by the final kinetic energy of particle one is given by half m v one squared. Now we don't have v one squared. So what are we going to do? We want now to have an equation that relates v one with the u one. That, that's basically what we're trying to do so that we place and we have everything because initial kinetic energy we already have. Here, kin initial kinetic energy for particle one, we already have half m u one squared. We already have. So now we want v one in terms of u one. I get, I, I, I hope you get the, the point. So this is why we are doing this, All right? So uh, we're going to play with equation two. Here, we're going to play with equation two and uh, bring uh, V1 the other side. And then what are we going to have? We're going to have U1 squared minus V1 squared equal to 2V2 squared, all right? And then this equation now, we can uh, see that the left-hand side is basically the difference of two squares. So since we have the difference of two squares, um, from algebra, of course, like this, it gives us u minus v and u plus v. I believe you remember difference of two squares. So what we're going to have is u minus v, u plus v equal to 2v squared. Okay, so I'll get that as my equation Three. And equation one, I'm going to rely, rely to equation one uh, by bringing uh, the V1 the other side. It's going to be U1 minus V1 equal to 2V2. Two two. Yeah. So I'll let uh, this one to be my equation uh, uh, four. So equation four into equation Three. What are we going to have? So where there is u1 minus v1, I will replace with it. 2v2. So we're going to have 2v2 u plus, all right, so this is with subscripts, all right, plus v1 equal to 2v2 squared. So dividing both sides by 2v2, I'm going to have, all right, I'm going to have, so we come here, I'm going to have um, V2 being equal to U1 plus V1. So let that be my equation five. All right, so equation five now, I can put it into equation one, equation five into equation one. Right, so I'm going to have, <clears throat> I'm going to have um, u1 equal to v1 plus two, open brackets, where there is v2, I put u1 plus v1, 
So U1 is going to be V1 plus 2U1 plus 2V1. So grouping the like terms, I'm going to have U1 minus 2U1 equal to V1 plus 2V1. Negative U1 equal to 3V1. And V1 is going to be negative 1 over 3 u1 so this is six so this is the relationship that we're looking for all right this is the relationship that we're looking for for v1 and uh, uh, u1 so now we can proceed now uh so i will erase here we can proceed now to find the initial kinetic energy and the final kinetic energy and be able to find the, to show what we've been requested to show. All right, so I did say to say, um, initial kinetic energy for particle one is basically half mu one squared, all right, and, um, the final kinetic energy is half m v1 squared of which v1 it's a it's what it's a negative one over three u1 squared so kinetic energy final for particle one is going to be um, one over two m and then we square here, we are going to have one for nine u squared. So this is basically one over 18, we multiply squared, all right? So this is our final energy. Now, we said the energy loss is equal to the change, initial kinetic energy and yeah, final kinetic energy. That is energy loss, all right? Now, they've said uh, eight of nine of its initial kinetic energy. So energy loss per kin initial kinetic energy. This is what he's saying, all right? Show that the particle of mass M loses eight of, of a ninth of its initial kinetic energy. So it's not just energy, but uh, um, loss of energy, but in relation to the initial kinetic energy. So we divide initial kinetic energy. Initial kinetic energy. All right. So what we're going to have is um, energy loss over initial kinetic energy is going to be uh, Initial kinetic energy is one over two m u one squared minus one over eighteen m u squared over one over two m u one squared. So you can see that we have uh, um, we have common things, and uh, I think we're going just to remain with the mathematical point of view. So we factor out mu squared on the numerator and we're going to have half minus one over 18. Over, we factor out also mu and then we remain with half here. So this and that cancels. Remember here is energy loss, right? Initial kinetic energy, right? So, We raise here. I tried by all means to make sure that I explain you understand because I what I know and believe in is that happiness, true happiness, is understanding and clearing physics. All right. So we have um energy laws of initial kinetic energy is equal to, so we have half minus one over 18 
divide by half. All right. So we're going to have um, common denominator 18. 2 into 18 is 9 times 1, 9. Nine. 18 into 18 is 1 times 1 minus 1. And then we can introduce the multiplication sign here. And once we, multipl we multiply, we reciprocate that. So we're going to have uh, energy loss over initial kinetic energy is going to be 8 over 18 times 2 over 1. So 2 here, 1. 2 here, it's 9. So energy loss over initial kinetic energy is 8 over 9. So according to the last statement, we can say, according to the last statement, energy loss is, because we just multiply initial kinetic energy of this initial kinetic energy here. Hence, All right. So this is how we get to solve uh, this question. Uh, this is how you show. So we've shown that uh, uh, this uh, first particle lost eight of nine of its uh, initial kinetic energy. So the moment you multiply this fraction by the initial kinetic energy, you'll be able to get there. Um, energy loss. Yeah. So if you like this video, kindly uh, like it, share with your friends, and um, share the link with your friends. And you can also find uh, me on Facebook. Uh, just type Pi Excellence Tutorials, and you like the Facebook page as well. So thank you so much for your time. See you in the next uh, video.